fuck it. I'm gonna sleep in a tent. I'm gonna do what I love for a living, which is playing music. And if I just what is going on, amazing, beautiful, wonderful, awesome people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And today, guys and gals, I got a special, special treat for you. It's something that's super awesome. I had to get the okay to do this tutorial because my boy Maddie. Maddie put me on to it. Maddie just did a tutorial on it for his subscribers. I know a lot of you are subscribers uh, that are subscribers to him or subscribers to me, so you've probably already seen it. But those that aren't subscribed to Maddie, here is a tutorial on how to install Blaine County traffic lights in all of those special places that we know we need those traffic lights. And folks, as always, we will do an in-game showcase. Big big huge shout out to my boy maddie go check him out his link is right there. as a matter of fact i will throw his link right at the top of my description go check this dude out he's got amazing content down to earth dude great tutorials uh just just in a fellow leo for slrp go check out maddie with maddie is ball maddie appreciate you brother appreciate you being okay with me dropping this tutorial uh, I waited a day. He, he wanted me to wait a day, so I waited, and now we're dropping it. So let's get into it, guys and gals. First thing we want to do is double-click the link down below that says DL, DLC Pack Creator because we are going to have to down uh, create a DLC pack, but it's super easy. No worries. All right, so you're going to click that green download button. It's going to download automatically. Once it comes up, we're just gonna go ahead and click that close box and minimize that WinRAR. Now go ahead and double click the Blaine County traffic light uh, link down below and that's gonna bring you to this page right here. And it shows you a few of the spots. I think there's three in total um, that adds the uh, traffic lights to uh, pretty important parts of Blaine County. I think there's three intersections that it adds traffic lights to. Um, yeah, this one's gonna be by the tracks there. Um, this one is going to be down by, yep, right down by the motel. We know where that is at. And then finally up on uh, near Highway Ocean, uh, Great, nope, not Great Ocean, uh, Sonora. This is gonna be Sonora Freeway, I believe, uh, US Route 13. So in Joshua, so there's the traffic lights there, which we all know this is a huge intersection right here, okay? So let's exit out of the pictures. Let's go ahead and as you can see, it was submitted 22 hours ago. So really new mod, um, only 158 downloads, that's crazy. So let's go ahead and click the blue download this file. Um, it's, it's a Y map, so it should not affect your uh, FPS, your game performance, none of that stuff. Well, some Y maps can, but this one's a—it's kind of a small one, so it's not going to uh, be drastic, if anything, on your performance of your PC. All right, so we can close out of that and minimize that, and we can exit out of our web browser. We now have both files that we need, right? We have the DLC pack creator and the Blaine County traffic one. Okay, let me go ahead and grab my notes out here, because there are some pathways that we are going to have to learn now. Folks, I'm going to tell you this right now before we get into it. I'm sorry. You could probably hear me moving around all my crap over here. Just want to make sure I get my uh, my correct piece of paper out because I still to the to this day have no idea. I cannot memorize all of these pathways. There we go. Gosh, I'm so unorganized. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you do not have the room to back up your game file, I am strongly advising you do not do this mod, okay? If you send me a comment saying it ruined my game, I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask you, did you back up your file? If you cannot back up your file, strongly advise you do not do this mod, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to your disk drive that you have your game uh, installed through, your GTA installed through. So... Steam users go to the disk drive. It's going to be program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common. Right here, you're going to see your Grand Theft Auto folder, okay? Um, let me go to mine because mine is in my new F drive. 
Steam library, Steam apps, common. You can see all of my Grand Theft Autos right here. Now, if I left click, right click, copy, go down here, left click, right click, paste back up the game file if you mess up your game i don't want to hear i'm so sorry to say it like that but a lot of people out there they don't back up their game file and then they fly through these tutorials and they make one wrong move and it's over for them and it's it's sad but it's true it's so true so please back up your game file if you do not have the space to do it do not proceed on with this tutorial okay so now that we got that all set Let's go ahead and open up. Well, yeah, we can open up our open IV. We can at least get that started. Go ahead and click windows. All right, make sure you're in edit mode. Make sure that's lit up blue. If you always wanted to open up an edit mode, go to tools, go to options, and right here where it says default work mode, yours might say read only, go ahead and click edit and close. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this open IV. Just minimize it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our DLC pack, okay? So go ahead and bring up the DLC pack uh, creator, volume 1.1, double click the folder that's in there, and you're gonna go right here to dlccreator.exe, double click that. All right, it's gonna bring up this box right here, all right? We can go ahead and minimize out of our uh, DLC pack creator WinRAR. We do not need this anymore. So exit out of that. And right here under DLC, <clears throat> under DLC name, we're going to do uh, BC uh, traffic. Okay. That's going to stand for uh, Blaine County traffic. Okay. Make sure you write that down. And I'm going to write it down myself just so I don't forget it. So all lowercase BC traffic. All right, now type, it is a map. Okay, you got map and vehicle, make sure the map is selected. Once you do that, you're gonna go to create DLC and it's gonna ask you where do you wanna create it to? Click desktop and click okay. All right, successfully created DLC pack. As you see, there it is right there. So let's go ahead and sling her on over here, all right? So we can click okay, we can exit out of the DLC pack creator, exit out of that. Now. Here's what we want to do. Okay, we want to go to our OpenIV now. And we want to go to, uh, first, let's, we're going to go to our DLC pack. Okay, so that's going to be um, mods, mods, update, time 64. DLC packs, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you are going to take this BC traffic folder that we created on the desktop, drag it right here and drop it in. If you go down to the bottom, you can see it's right there, all right? So it took. Now here's what we wanna do. Double click that BC traffic um, folder, okay? Double click that. Then you're gonna wanna double click uh, DLC.RPF times 64, levels, GTA 5, and bctraffic.rpf. You wanna double click that. All right, you can see it says this archive is empty. Okay, let's drag this BC traffic over there. Let's go ahead and open up the Blaine County traffic light WinRAR. There it is right there, folks. Okay, so you're gonna double click that Blaine County traffic lights folder that's in your WinRAR, and you're only gonna highlight all of these files right here, all these Y maps, okay? Uh, in the YMF, do not select the paths folder, okay? That's gotta go someplace else. You're just gonna select these eight files. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight files, okay? See how it says this, this is empty? Again, it's mods, update, time 64, DLC packs, BC traffic, DLC.RPF. You're gonna left click, drag it, and drop it, just like that, okay? Once we do that, go ahead and double click your mods folder. All right, click over here so you can unhighlight those. Now let's go to uh, where we're going to install the paths folder. So we're gonna click mods. Then we're gonna click update. 
update.rpf, time 64, levels, GTA 5, and you see this paths.rpf, double click that right there. It's going to bring up all these nodes right here, okay? See all these nodes. Now, uh, what Maddie says is these are important because these are what's going to make the AI traffic stop at these traffic lights because we not only are we going to put them in the game but we need to make sure we tell ai to stop at these traffic we don't want them just running red lights and pretending like they're not there or else why have them there right so now that we're in this nodes section um go ahead and open up the paths folder that is in the blaine county traffic light winner the paths folder right there double click it and you see all the nodes right here what you're going to do is you are going to hit control well you're going to highlight the top one and then hit control a and then while holding control deselect that top folder the top folder that just has the two dots there okay we want everything else selected there's a lot there okay we are going to left click make sure this top folder is unselected everything else is selected you're going to left click drag it into here and drop it in there all right as you can see we got our uh, sand glass there okay and it is done all right so now we are all set with this winrar the blaine county traffic lights winrar exit out of that go ahead and double click mods again so we can go back to the beginning we have one more pathway that we have to go to now we have to link up um as you can see in the dlc packs we got uh bc traffic right there it is in there we have everything we need to have inside of it, okay? So now that we're there, go back to mods, and now we need to link it into our game through the DLC XML, all right? So we're gonna click mods, uh, then we are going to go to update, update.rpf, common, and then data, okay? Scroll down a little bit and you'll see DLC list.xml. What we're gonna do is right click that, okay? Just right click it and edit right there it's going to bring up this box right here folks what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the end of this box okay now up here grab anything from up here one of these patch days okay you're going to highlight that entire line the whole line from the greater than sign to the less than sign okay right click copy it you're going to go down here to the last item that's in the line right above paths and you're going to just click it so your text line goes there and you're simply going to hit enter so you create a new line now what you want to do is now that you got that text bar flashing on the new line right click and paste okay now without getting rid of the forward slashes you are going to highlight and whatever it is that you copied to right here you're going to highlight whatever word whatever it says in between these two forward slashes highlight that and you're going to delete it and in its place we are going to write b c traffic all lowercase you want to make sure to match it with whatever you created your folder the folder right up here remember the folder we created up here you want to make sure that these words match okay once it says once you have bc traffic in there if you copied what i did uh you can look you can see it's in there the line is in there go ahead and click save and we like to go to file close all archives edit mode is off guys and gals let's jump we can exit out of open iv let's jump into the game and check out our new traffic lights i'll see y'all in there all right y'all so here we are in the game let's go ahead we're not on duty we don't need to go on duty for this <laughs> let's go ahead and drive over uh to the first spot and i can already see we got some traffic lights there not only do we have some traffic lights there but the vehicles are actually stopping at these traffic lights now a lot of you may have seen these in 5m servers a lot of 5m servers rock these traffic lights okay so you see their light turned red he stopped at the traffic light how cool is that super cool right um let's go ahead we're gonna we're gonna just fast travel down there so i'm not taking up too much of your time i know the next one is going to be at joshua and route 68 so let's go ahead and shoot on down here and here's this traffic light now as you all may or may not know this is a new 
traffic light. There was never a traffic light here, and this intersection was always super crazy, right? So not anymore. So our traffic lights now work. I wonder if the walk signs, oh, they do, look at that. It says for them to walk. How cool is that? Super, super cool. And then we're gonna go to the one that I feel is the most important, is right here at East Joshua and uh, uh, Route 13, the US Highway 1, right? So let's go ahead and fast travel over to there. And there they are. You got your traffic lights right here. So now you can pull through and then you got a second one right there. So you gotta stop at that one. All right, they get the green light, they're gonna go. And here we go, light's gonna turn green. And now that truck, these truck, these vehicles should stop. There they are stopping. And we're good to go. How awesome is that? Man, I gotta say, Maddie, big shout out to Maddie. Thank you so much, brother, for putting me onto this mod and allowing me to put this out there for all of my subscribers to enjoy. I hope you all enjoy it. Again, go check out Maddie with Maddie as Ball, very first link in the description, right down below. Um, and while you're at it, check out all my other YouTube brothers and sisters. Um, big shout out to them, big shout out to the Jeffrey Gamer members, um, and the subscribers, the viewers, the fans, the family. You're all absolutely amazing on the road to 3K and we are just around the corner from it. Love you all so much. If you're new here, hit that like, hit that subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when new awesome tutorials are available plus we got live streams rp leo vlogs giveaways you name it jeffrey gamer does it and become part of the family until next time y'all be safe be healthy be positive follow the rules and obey the law your boy jeffrey gamer is out later y'all